31-year-old dominant male chimp, Dylan, is leading the 20-strong group outside for breakfast. This is the best time to watch them. They're all happy, quiet. He's getting on, finding the food, enjoying the weather. No visitors. There's a new addition to Dylan's ranks, Stevie, born just three weeks ago to mum, Zizi. And for the most part, the baby's arrival has had a calming influence. If you come and look at the chimp group now, and you were looking at the chimp group three weeks ago, you'd think we've got a different group. There's far fewer arguments and scuffles and fights. But with seven males, it doesn't take much for chimp tempers to flare. As the dominant male, it's Dylan's job to sort out fights and keep the new baby safe. But today, he's neglecting his duties. Dylan should really put them in their place, but he hasn't done. He tends to let things drift a bit too much. It's the group's youngest male, Carlos, who's become baby Stevie's unlikely guardian. Carlos has stepped up to the mark so well. He's never really had anything to do with a baby before, but he's taken to it like a duck to water. Zizi's happy for him to hang around. It's a lovely little family unit, even though they're not. It's really nice to see. He probably thinks he's a father. He isn't, but he probably thinks he is. It's much more likely that the real father of Zizi's baby is Dylan. When she conceived, Dylan was quite besotted with her. He was the only one actually seen mating her. So statistically, odds are it will be Dylan's. But Dylan's approach to parenting leaves a lot to be desired. Carlos is so protective, which is the role a dominant or adult male should be. Oh, he's brilliant, he really is. If Dylan was a, a better dominant male, he might be basically doing what Carlos is doing. So at 13, Carlos is showing all the signs of a future leader. Carlos is definitely maturing very well, physically and mentally. One day, I'm pretty sure he'll be the next dominant male, but I can't see Dylan lying awake at the moment, thinking, oh, Carlos is going to kick my ass in a couple of years' time.